The Learning and Technology Policy Framework Policy Direction 3 is professional learning and in more Alberta schools professional learning is about collaboration, communities of practice, mentorship, especially when it comes to implementing technology. PD model that we are currently uh, working on with community of practice and our own school district is we've come together as a large group with teachers and with our own team and community of practice has said okay we've met as a group we've done some sharing that kind of thing let's take it more in depth right at the school level where we can Skype, where we can create guiding questions and use that kind of a PD model instead of the typical coming back together as a group, sharing, reviewing, reflecting, and then heading back to school. So we've built in a few half days of release time right at the school level where Skype happens, as well as time strictly dedicated for teachers to collaborate right at their own site and continue their learning right there so that it's it's very meaningful, it's very targeted and uh, it's, it's truly empowering the teachers to, to create what it is they need to create right at their school. Our community of practice model coupled with the role of the technology coach in every school has made a difference for teachers as they've implemented technology into the classroom. Prior to doing this we had a very loose model where there was some coaching occasionally provided if the school had an opportunity to put a coach in place. But until we moved to a model where every school had a coach and every school sent someone to a community of practice, we didn't see the kinds of gains across the entire district that we started to see recently. The pencil and paper, I mean, you could use clipboards and pencils for those who are more comfortable doing that, right, yeah. but offering a choice of you can use the clipboard and the pencil, but they could also use the iPad with the drawing app and mm -hmm. having the camera to support this walk around the community and look at those places. Right. So just balancing both and knowing what each individual child needs. Yeah. Many school authorities use learning coaches to mentor teachers and help them integrate technology right in the classroom. I really like it when my teacher tries something new and she learns from a coach. Imagine you're disguising your chinchilla and then I'll hook that up to the computer. Would that work for you? Okay. We have tech support people in a couple times a week, every week, to meet with us one-on-one, -on -one, to answer all of our questions and to introduce us to to new technological material and ideas all the time. As the ICT support teacher, my role is to help teachers design lessons, plan units, and also like if they're unfamiliar with an application and they're not comfortable, I will come in and I'll, I'll model how to do that. But it's not about the application or the software. They will give me the curriculum, we'll design the lesson, and then I'll go in and I'll, I'll actually do the lesson. I'll show them how they can use uh, an application or a number of applications to meet the, the outcome. There was one that he showed me at the beginning of the year was um, how to have the students have an online blog as the type of reflection response to text instead of just individual um, written responses. In this way they can not only reflect using the technology but they can also have it as more of a community setting where everyone can hear about each other's ideas and um, build on them so that was a really good uh, classroom community strengthening activity that he showed me. So this collaborative coaching time gives our teachers an opportunity every two weeks of embedded time, one hour time slot, where they can sit with a, a learning coach and really get into deep pedagogy and have rich conversation about the purpose of what they're doing, the purpose of why they would use a particular application in the classroom, the purpose of why the MacBook would be more beneficial than a, an iPad or iPod. Everything comes back to students and their learning. Do you know that people whose first language is French and English speak one of the uh, official languages in Canada? And of course, if technology is good for student learning, why not use it for professional learning as well? 
Twitter has been a phenomenal way that I get in contact with different teachers, even from different PD experiences. So I can have um, someone in our community of practice on Twitter and they went to a PD and they start um, sharing different tweets about things that they've done and I can see it that way. So it doesn't necessarily have to be particularly to me, but I can kind of see what they've done even outside just the community of practice. So we had um, taken a whole team to the Google Summit just a couple weeks ago and it was really an eye-opening experience for us because when we had gone there, there were just so many things to learn and so many things to bring back. So we kind of decided what we were going to bring back to our staff, our little group. And when we came back, we had in our one of our staff meetings, we presented to the teachers using the tools that we wanted, hopefully for them to use with their students. So we had used um, Google Forms and Google Docs in our presentation for them. And as we were doing it, a lot of the teachers are saying, oh, this would be really cool. I could do this with our kids, you know, in this way. And then we kind of started sharing ideas of how it could work. When it comes time to uh, professional development days, we're always allotted some tech time in which myself or teachers who've tried what I've tried after I've shown them uh, demonstrate how well it worked in their class. So there's that nice time where our administration has supported us and given us a little bit, even just an hour, to share the successes that we've had in our class. It's a fun time to teach. It really is.